Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Master. When we analyze the structure, we need to consider gravity load as well as lateral loads. So in addition to gravity load, when we analyze the structure with the lateral load, in that case we need to consider this term sway and non-sway frames. So in this video, let's discuss in detail about what is sway frame and what is non-sway frames and what are all the factors we need to consider for sway frame and non-sway frame. It is also called as unbraced and braced frame. Sway frames are called as unbraced frame and non-sway frames are called as braced frames. So without delay, let's begin now. Before starting with sway and non-sway frame, let's discuss about what is frame. Frame is the structure which connect all the structural element to make a framed structure. If it is a RCC frame, we will be having the beam, column and slab. Those are all the structural element to make a framed RCC structure. If it is a steel frame, we will be having ties and strut to make a framed structure. Each structural member will be having different behavior. For example, if you take a beam, it is a flexural member. If you take a column, it is a compression member. Similarly, in steel frame, if you take strut is a compression member. If you take tie, it is a tension member. Now, let's start with what is sway frame. The frame which deflects in the horizontal direction, that frame is called sway frame. For example, see here we have a frame. So when the horizontal load is applied on the frame, it tend to deflect in the horizontal direction. You can see the deflected shape of the frame. So in this way, it deflects when it is subjected to a horizontal load. So if it is deflected in the horizontal direction, so that frame is called sway frame. So this sway frame provides lateral resistance only through columns. Sway frames are unbraced frames. If we provide bracings, then it will become a non-sway frame. So let's recall once again, the frame which deflected the horizontal direction is called sway frame. It provides lateral resistance through columns. Sway frames are unbraced frames. Next one is non-sway frame. The frame which does not deflect in the horizontal direction, then that frame is called non-sway frame. How can we avoid the horizontal deflection when the frame is subjected to horizontal load? So if we provide proper bracings to resist the horizontal load, then the frame will not deflect in the horizontal direction. So that frame becomes non-sway frame. This type of non-sway frames provide lateral resistance through structural walls, for example, shear walls. Non-sway frames are braced frames. As I told you in the beginning, if we provide proper bracings in order to resist the lateral loads, that is the horizontal loads, then the frame will become non-sway frame. Next, let's look into to what are all the factors which cause the sway frame. There are many factors. The first one is unbalanced loading and then eccentric loading, unsymmetrical sections, unsymmetrical geometry, different support. So these are all the major factors which causes the sway frame. First, let's look into the unbalanced horizontal loading. See, the load P is acting in the horizontal direction. So this load will cause the frame to deflect in the horizontal direction. Suppose if we have another horizontal load which is acting in the opposite direction of the existing horizontal load then it will become balanced. It will not allow the frame to sway. Another horizontal load is acting in the direction. So this is unbalanced horizontal load. If you see here we have a balanced load and one more horizontal load is acting in the frame. So this will make the frame to sway in the horizontal direction. So in this way the unbalanced horizontal loading will create a sway frame. The next factor is eccentric loading. The load P which is acting some distance from the center of the frame. It is not acting at the exact center of the frame. So this create eccentricity. So this eccentric vertical load will make the frame to sway. If the load is acting at the center of the frame, then it will become a non-sway frame. Next one is unsymmetrical sections. Here the moment of inertia of this member is 2y and moment of inertia of this member is i. So here there is an unsymmetrical sections. The sections are the structural members are not symmetrical. So this creates sway in the frame. Next one is unsymmetrical geometry. So here this length of the member is different and this length of the member is different. So they are not symmetrical. So this unsymmetrical geometry also will cause a sway in the frame. And the last one is different support conditions. See here the support is different and here the support is different. This will create a sway in the frame. 
if the supports are different in supports are different so that also will create sway in the frame so irrespective of the factors whatever we have discussed whether it is eccentric loading or unsymmetrical sections or unsymmetrical geometry or different end supports whatever may be the factors if we provide a proper horizontal support then it will become a non sway frame so that support will not allow the frame to sway here we can have one more example of non sway frame so irrespective of the geometry or different end support if we provide a proper horizontal support then the frame will become non sway frame so here this support will not allow the frame to sway in the horizontal direction let's have a quick recap if the frame is deflect in the horizontal direction then it is called as a sway frame if the frame does not deflect in the horizontal direction it is called as a non sway frame sway frames are unbraced non sway frames are braced sway frames does not have adequate stiffness against in plane horizontal forces whereas the non sway frames will be having the adequate stiffness against in plane horizontal forces sway frames will have in plane displacement due to unsymmetrical loading unsymmetrical geometry different end supports unsymmetrical sections and eccentric loading whereas the non sway frames has only rotational degree of freedom the translational degree of freedom does not exist in the non sway frames in sway frame second order analysis is used for the analysis whereas in the non sway frame first order analysis will be used for the analysis of non sway frames so friends that's all about sway frame and non sway frame i hope you all like this video please do comment in the comment box your comments are always welcome if you like the content hit the like button and also share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos thank you for watching